A five-week-old baby is airlifted to a Lubbock hospital after she was found unresponsive in Odessa Tuesday night. CBS 7's John Travenstead has been following this story all day and spoke with police and neighbors about what happened. He joins us now from the newsroom with the very latest on tonight's top story. I spoke with several neighbors today who did not want to go on camera, but they all say the baby was left in the care of a young girl about 10 years old. Surprising tidbit we found out, the state of Texas does not have an established babysitting age. Odessa police say they were called out to a house on the 200 block of East 89th Street about 4.30 Tuesday evening. Originally it was called in as a deceased person, it later turned into a medical call. OPD says the five-week-old infant girl was not breathing and was taken to Medical Center Hospital before being transported to Lubbock in critical condition. Neighbors say the baby and four other kids were being taken care of by a 10-year-old girl. They say the girl came out and asked a neighbor for help. That neighbor then started CPR and called 911. According to Child Protective Services, there is no minimum age to leave a child unattended or have as a babysitter. They judge readiness of a child's emotional maturity, safety of the home, and how many children are left unsupervised. However, Odessa police say there is still a law that can be broken regardless of the age of the babysitter. We go off the totality of the circumstances, and a lot of it is based off the statute endangering a child, which is Texas state law. Endangering a child means you can be charged with the crime if you knowingly or recklessly place a child under the age of 15 in danger of death or bodily harm. If it is determined that, that no criminal element was met, then uh, in a lot of cases, officers will notify, at least notify CPS. A woman who was at the house earlier says the baby's still not breathing. Odessa police are not calling this an accident and investigating it like a crime. In the newsroom, John Travenstead, CBS 7 News.